Okay, so I'm um, putting a replacement component on. Um, so here's our component. It's on a static bag. And we're just going to pick one of those out of there and place it in position. But before we do that, we need some IPA. And we're just going to clean the circuit board locally. around where we're going to put the components on. So why am I doing this? This is just so that I can I'm just going to dry that so that I can put the components in place on the board. And I'm going to put it in place on the board. And then we're going to hold it in place with a bit of gaffer tape. So this is effectively like another pair of hands to make sure that while we do the soldering, it doesn't actually move. See how easily it moves. So that's just to secure, physically secure chip in place prior to soldering and again we get our rosin flux this slightly on this piece oh, that's better to me okay put some rosin flux on <coughs> Solder. Looks like it's moved. There's very little um, space between these pins, so it's important to get this lined up properly. Right. Better, so it's not sitting on the printed circuit board now. So I think what we'll do is we'll put our first use our first pin to secure it. Right, so that's gonna hold it in place now and we can solder the other pins. So it doesn't hurt if you get too much solder on because you can always get two pins short out like we've just done here. We can just remove the excess with our soldering braid. Put some more flux on. <clears throat> so we've got two pins that have bonded together that I can't get apart so I'm going to put more solder on again 
I'm going to use the pump to suck it off. So here's our solder pump. Prime it. Heat the pins up. And that hasn't done the job. Again. So we'll get a bit of fresh braid, put some rosin on it. Right, and then just inspect it really closely to see that none of the pins have bridged. And you can see it's covered out at the moment, it's got a fair bit of flux left on it. So I'm going to put it back down <coughs> and get a cotton wool bud with a bit of IPA on it. We're just going to give that a little clean. Just so, just so it makes it a little bit easier to see what is going on. Okay. Right. Move the tape. To me that looks like they're all soldered back on nice and securely and there's no bridging. So it's time to put the clocks back together and um, see if that's made a difference, if that's addressed the problem or not. Okay.